energy surrounds us and binds us. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nick here from Carbonite Combos. Uh, thank you guys for joining us here today. We are actually introducing a new segment called Funko Fridays. So, as you can see, um, I know you can't see the entire collection, but um, me and Alec as well, we're both very big Funko collectors. So, uh, shout out to Death Star Dispatch and talking with my Hans. We got Fred and Ian over at those shoot over at those shows. We had a uh, we me and Alec hopped on the Death Star Dispatch podcast the other day, and we were just talking about Funko, Star Wars, Marvel, and um, you know we were just throwing around the idea for Funko Fridays. So. You know, like my man Tony Stark says, sometimes you got to run before you can walk. So haven't scripted anything out. I'm just going with the clean, raw, uncut version here. So just wanted to do my first Funko Friday. And as you can see, I'm a huge Tampa Bay Rays fan. Shout out Tampa Bay. We got the Lightning, who just won game three of the Stanley Cup Finals last night. And the Rays clinched the AL East pennant last night, which they haven't done since 2010. So I am beyond excited for that. Not only did they clinch the division title, but they uh, I, I was just really excited that we were able to take it away from the New York Yankees this year. But I guess we're just going to hop in. I thought it was pretty fitting. As you can see, I'm a huge Star Wars collector. Let me just sh show you. Sorry, that's not my collection. Uh, show you some of the Star Wars ones. I got a couple, a couple more shelves that you can't really see. But, you know, again, again, we're just going to, just gonna go into it. I apologize for the lighting. Um, you know, it's a work in progress here at Carbonite Combos, but I promise it will. You know, we are due for some upgrades soon. So, with me being a Star Wars fan, a Tampa Bay Rays fan, I figured the first pop that I that I wanted to focus on for Funko Fridays would be the Kevin Kiermeyer Tampa Bay Ray Kevin Kiermeyer Star Wars Han Solo Tampa Bay Rays exclusive. Uh, Funko Pop right here. So this pop is actually pretty special. This was given away back in 20, let's see, 2018 at a Tampa Bay Rays game. Um, long story short, my father and I are season ticket holders, so you know I had to go to that game. I actually have a few extras of these uh, laying around. So if after the video, I've convinced you that you really like the pop and you really want it. Um, you know, just just message me and we'll we'll work something out if you know if you want to buy one. But I guess we'll just jump right in. This is my first my first Funko review, so I don't really know where to start. Um, I guess I'll just start by taking it out of the package. Um, I got, you know, this is one of the ones I have to keep in a pop protector. Uh, shout out Kevin Kiermeyer too. Uh, multi gold glove winner, platinum glove. Um, you know, one of the one of the best outfielders in the game. Um, so yeah, here we go. So here's a, a close up of the box. What I really like about this is, you know, I'm a big sticker guy. I love just getting pops with the con stickers, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, everything. I love I love unique stickers the most. And the fact that this has a Tampa Bay Rays sticker is incredible for me because, you know, Rays up. Um, so I love seeing the logo on everything. I love that he has a Rays hat. And, you know, I'm a big Han Solo guy too. So, you know, this pop kind of just defines me as a sports fan, as a Star Wars fan, as a as a Funko collector, which is why this is arguably one of the most, one of my favorite pops in my collection, if not, you know, number one. Um, but it's definitely in the top five. So I'm just going to give you a little glam view of the box. And again, I'm sorry about the, I'm sorry about the glare, but let me just put it right there. Give you a nice little show. Kevin Kiermeyer, number 39. Then we got Star Wars Night, Tropicana Field. So it's pretty exciting. We are going to take it out of the box here in just a second. I'm just trying to get the best lighting for this. Um, very out of my element here. So, you know, we'll get better as we go. Um, right now, uh, this pop on the Funko app and on um, Pop Price Guide, for some reason it's $8, but when you look around online, you can't find it that cheap. I know I was looking around at some pricing before this. I don't know how Walmart has it, but you can get it there for a solid $50. Um, there's a couple on eBay for around $25 um, in box, really nice shape. Again, if you know if I do a good job convincing you and you want to buy one, just uh, hit me up directly, and um, you know I'll see if we can work something out. Um, but again, it's on the apps for $8, but you really can't find it 
uh, for that cheap. Now, they, I did see one on Mercari for $12, but it is out of box. And if you're, a, if you're a baseball fan, a sports fan, and or just a Funko fan who likes collecting them in the box, I would definitely recommend uh, shelling out the extra, extra 10, 15 bucks to get the box. Because again, it does come with a really cool sticker and it's just a, it's just a really nice box all around. Now I might be a little biased because you know, I'm one of the world, if not the world's biggest Tampa Bay Rays fan. Um, but again, that's just me. So we'll take it out of the box here. All right. So star Wars is notorious for having their, their bases, you know, say Star Wars, obviously you can see them all around me. All the bases say Star Wars on it. What I really like about this one is not only does it say Star Wars, but it says Rays. Let me, oh, he actually doesn't come off the base. I thought he came off the base, but I really like just the detail on this because you can definitely tell that's Kevin Kiermeyer. You can definitely get the Han Solo vibe if you if you take off the take off the head right there. You got a nice clean Rays hat. Um Let's give you the full 360 view. You get a nice MLB logo, and then bring it back around. So yeah, it's just it's a, it's a nice pop all around. Um, you know, Han Solo is one of my you know one of my top characters. Uh, it's it's hard not to like him. You know, if you're a Star Wars fan and you dislike Han Solo, um, you know that's your opinion. But it's Han Solo, you know, how can you dislike him? I'm just gonna throw this guy back in the box. Um. So yeah, in all honesty, I don't really know where to go from here. You know, we gave the price. Having difficulty getting them back in the box. We went over the price. You can get it on eBay, Mercari, Walmart. I'm sure you, if you look around, you can get it some other places. But um, if you want to get it from somewhat from a reliable source, you can hit me up. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Funko Stud. Um, I don't put I don't put things for sale up on up on Instagram. Um, you know, I just prefer to do things locally, but with this one, I'll ship it. But, you know, again, this is one of the, one of the favorite, one of my favorite pops in my collection. I have it located in actually not my pop because this is our pop room. I have it located in my bedroom with my other sports pops. Um, I have a couple of uh, another race pop. I got Blake Snell. I have my lightning pops in there and I am living in Pittsburgh. So, you know, it would only be right that I have some Pittsburgh pops. I have Josh Bell in there. So, um, uh, don't really know where to go from here. So I think we'll wrap it up again. Shout out to Fred over at Death Star Dispatch and Ian at talking with my Hans for, uh, just helping us get this idea up and running. Um, yeah. So this video obviously is our new segment, Funko Fridays. You can catch a new, uh, short story, whether it be Marvel or Star Wars from us every Monday. And we try to get another video out every Wednesday, but those are kind of stagnant. And then we have our podcast that usually we record on Thursday and that comes out around the weekend. So again, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Buzzsprout, every, everywhere, every major outlet, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, we are Carbonite Combos all the way. Can't forget YouTube because YouTube is where a lot of, excuse me, I have the, had the hiccups. Um, YouTube is a lot of, um, you know, where the video content comes out, obviously. So, you know, we'd love your support on YouTube, uh, the most, but again, everything carbonite combos. And if you want to follow my specific personal pop account, you can follow me at Funko stud. Um, so again, really appreciate your support, but until we see you next time, may the force be with you guys. Remember the force will be with you always. <laughs>